Hello students, myself Professor Ankur. I welcome everyone for the gate sum session on analog circuits. Today we are going to solve few sums on the topic of MOSFET. So let's start with now gate sum session on MOSFETs. So we are having a question from the gate 2020 EC paper. So there's a question. A question says, an enhancement MOSFET of threshold voltage 3 volt is being used in the sample and the whole circuitry given below. Assume that the substrate of the MOSFET device is connected to minus 10 volt. If the input voltage VI lies between plus minus 10, the minimum and the maximum value of VG required for proper sampling and holding respectively are there are four options given a 3 volt and minus 3 volt b 10 volt and minus 10 volt c 13 volt and minus 7 volt and d 10 volt and minus 13 volt so if you observe we are going to give a waveform at VG and that VG is going to control the status of the MOSFET the MOSFET operation is going to be either a closed switch or an open switch operation so that the capacitor can charge and hold the level. So that's the concept of sampling and holding. So let's go for the understanding. So what do you want actually? We want the MOSFET to work as a switch. So when the MOSFET has to work like a switch, the energy at the drain is supposed to be passed to the energy of the source point implies the value of VD should match the value of VS. So if that has to happen, what is the thumb rule? So for sampling, MOSFET needs to work like a switch. So for that, VS should be equal to VD. And that is possible only when the value of VD is less than VG minus VT during the closed switch operation. So if I take the input as plus 10 volt, then the condition will be VG will be greater than VD plus VT. So you will get VG is equal to VD plus VT. We are giving the input at the drain point. So the input is going to be plus 10. The threshold is going to be 3. So the VG will be having a condition of 10 plus 3. That will be 13 volts. Secondly, if I consider the second case where the VI will be minus 10, under this situation, the value of VG will be minus 10 plus 3, which will give you minus 7 volt. So this will actually control the criteria for the whole state. So overall, if you see the two voltage levels for VG are 13 volt and minus 7 volt. And that's the reason the correct option is option C, 13 volt and minus 7 volt. So next question is from the gate 2019 EC paper. Let's have a look at the question. The question says a standard CMOS inverter is designed with equal rise and fall times. Beta N is equal to beta P. So actually the term beta is basically corresponding to the conduction parameter. So the conduction parameter for E MOSFETs for N channel is normally defined as K. So we have KN and KP as a notation. Here the notations are slightly modified they are noted as beta n and beta p if the width of the pmos transistor in the inverter is increased what would be the effect on the low noise margin noise margin low and the high noise margin that is noise margin high so for that we need to check what's the circuitry first so we are given the circuitry if you observe carefully there are two mosfets used the lower circuitry is a NMOS, the upper circuitry is a PMOS and we are giving an input and that input will be connected to gate terminals of both the devices. For the top PMOSFET, you will find that there is a VDD battery and the drain point is connected as an output point. And for the bottom MOSFET, if you see the drain is going to work like an output point and the source is being connected to ground. So this is basically a circuitry of a CMOS inverter and we are supposed to study the impact on the noise margin values of the noise margin high 
and noise margin low if if the width of the pmos transistor inverter is increased so what we are trying to do here is if i increase the width of the pmos transistor what will be the impact on the noise margin so for that we need to go for a small calculation or understanding you can say the noise margin is basically defined in terms of two parameters noise margin high and noise margin low the noise margin high is basically defined as voh minus vih and the noise margin low is defined as vil minus vol the voh value corresponds to vdd and the vol value corresponds to zero so we need to actually understand what is the value of vih and vil so for that we have the standard formulas the value of vih is equal to vdd plus vtop plus kr bracket twice of v out plus vton whole thing gets divided by 1 plus kr whereas vil is equal to twice of v out plus vtop minus vdd plus kr vton divided by 1 plus kr so what is basically kr the kr is a ratio of kn by kp as per the question that will be actually beta n by beta p so what is basically kn it is mu n c ox w by l and what is kp mu p c ox w by l so now what we need to understand here is what will happen if i increase the width of the p mosfet if you see the formula for kp which is mu p c ox w by l which according to the question is beta p the width is going to get increased for the p mos so the w will increase if the w increases the kp increases so as per that logic if the kp increases the denominator for kr will increase so in short the kr will decrease so if you see if i increase the width of the p mosfet the value of your kr is going to actually decrease in the vih formula if the kr value is decreasing then the vih value will increase so when i go for the noise margin calculation on the higher side it is voh minus vih where voh is vdd so vdd is being used as voh and vih is basically the value which is being represented in form of the formula so now due to increase of width the vih value has had an impact what is an impact the width increases the kp increases if the kp increases the kr decreases if the kr decreases vih increases if the vih increases the noise margin high will reduce because we are going for vdd minus vih and since the vih has increased the noise margin high will actually reduce now let's understand what will be the impact on vil if you see noise margin low it is vil minus vol and since vol is zero i can easily say that noise margin low is as good as vil again the same impact if the width has increased kp has if the width has increased the kp has increased if the kp has increased kr has decreased in the vil formula if the denominator is reducing the vil is increasing and here if the vil increases noise margin low will increase so if you observe carefully the noise margin low has increased and the noise margin high has decreased so this is the impact let's go for the next question the next question is from the gate 2018 ec paper this question has come for 2 marks let's have a look at the question interesting question the question says in the circuitry shown below the w by l value of mosfet 2 is twice that of mosfet 1 the 2 n mos transistors are otherwise identical the threshold voltage vt of both the transistors is 1 volt note that vgs of m2 must be greater than 1 volt current through the n mos transistor can be modeled as 